Hey folks, it's Rick. We're going to do another very, very careful review. This time we've got an Eastman. This is Chips Eastman T64 VGB. Uh, it's a wonderful guitar. I'm about to jam with elevated jam tracks. So uh, everybody check it out and then we'll talk a little about this guitar. Everybody, this is a very cool guitar by Eastman. Eastman, if you don't know, is a company that makes uh, handmade instruments in China, and their stuff is top, top quality. This is a standard ES330 type or casino type. Casinos and ES330s are kind of the same, just made by Gibson or Epiphone respectively. It's got this beautiful polished fingerboard. It's ebony. It's gorgeous. It's got a very nice antique finish. A lot of folks, a lot of folks don't like relic finishes, but I don't really care. You see there's a little bit of relicking here. That's underneath the finish. So that's definitely out of the factory that way. The relic job is so light that this guitar just still looks very, very pretty and I wouldn't want to put a ding in it, um, especially since it's not mine. this big wide headstock I kind of like it uh, with the with the pearl Eastman logo in it we've got vintage style Godot tuners those are great got a maple neck let's see how this maple neck is constructed it is a three-piece maple neck does not have a scarf joint okay it's got trapezoid are these trapezoid or parallelogram 16 inch hollow body thin line it's completely hollow there's no center block it's like a casino or like a ES330. Uh, maple laminate top and back and sides are also maple laminate. It's got Ivoroid binding, which is really beautiful. Trapeze tailpiece, tunematic type Godot bridge, Lawler dog ear P90s, two volumes, two tones, and a three way switch. <laughs> Two medium jumbo Descartes frets, bound neck but not a bound headstock. This has a bone nut. There's there's absolutely no fret sprout at all. It's not a thing on this guitar. This is 
T64V GB. The V stands for the varnish finish, and the GB stands for golden burst. Here's the back. The back's pretty. <laughs> So brand new they're going for $17.59 ish. That's on reverb. And that's a good price for it. It's a handmade instrument. It sounds beautiful, plays beautiful. It comes in a nice hard shell case. Let's go through some tones. Let's start with the bridge. This is clean. Here goes the middle. Here's the neck. Sounds beautiful. This uh this nut width is uh one point seven five which means it's a little bit wider, so it's it's really nice for playing chords. What's our radius? Fingerboard radius is a 12 inch. Let's do some overdrive tones. All I'm going to do is uh, J Rocket Audio, the dude. Here's the bridge pickup. This bridge P90 is fantastic. Both, I would say, these pickups are the best P90s I've ever heard uh, on a guitar. Sounds really good. Here's the middle. Here's the neck. I think that sounds so good. And the, here's the thing. These are flat wound strings.
it's a little bit difficult to play uh, up above here because it meets the neck at the 17th fret. So I know there are people who would be like, ooh, I can't do that. But you can comfortably play in G minor. A minor gets a little less comfortable. B minor is very tough. You got to do a, a cello reach. Getting a little bit of fret buzz there too. So your best day in an E. But these guitars are wonderful. They're not for everything and not for everybody. But really, what they are is. Uh, very comfortable and beautiful sounding guitar. Check one out. That's all I got to say. Everybody, peace. Mm -hmm.